Hello and welcome to Charger Games. My name is Raja and this is another Unity C Sharp scripting tutorial. So in the last video we have learned about the concept of loops. We have learned what are loops, how loops are useful. So in this video we're going to learn about a specific loop called while loop. While loop is the most fundamental loop. So let's go and learn it. So as I've said in the last video that and the basic concept behind most of the loops is uh, exactly the same. The only difference is that they have different formats or uh, they have different forms. So let's take a look at the format of the while loop. The basic format of the while loop is like this. So first of all you have to write the keyword while. Then uh, inside a pair of parentheses you have to write the condition that needs to be satisfied uh, in order to run this loop. And then inside this pair of curly braces, you write the things that you want to do if this condition is true. So this is uh, the same, this is exactly the same as the if statements that you have learned in the previous videos. There we have written, there we wrote if here, and here we wrote the condition, and then here we uh, wrote the things that you want to do if this condition is true. But in this case, what will happen is, this condition, these things will keep executing again and again and again until this condition is true. Okay. So in case of, uh, in case of if statements, they check this condition and then did these things once. But here, what will happen is they will check this condition and these things will keep getting executed again and again and again until this condition is true. Okay. So let's take a look at the code behind it. So inside start, first of all, I'm going to do something experimental. So inside that, I'm going to write true. So what will happen is, since I have written true, so that means this statement or this condition is always true. It's never false. It's always true. So whatever I have writ I'm writing inside this will keep executing forever. If I write while... executing so what will happen is this statement will get executed again and again and again and in the console will get this thing printed again and again and again so one more thing you can do is after the while loop or after the end of the curly brace I can write debugged log outside while loop so we can check that whenever the control is outside this loop uh, one thing I have been mentioned is when this condition becomes false, we automatically come out of this while loop. Okay, uh, so until this condition is true, uh, we just stay inside these curly braces. So when this condition will be false, uh, here the condition will never be false. So this loop or this control will never come out of these curly braces. Okay, so this thing will never get printed. That's what I'm gonna prove here. So if I go and run it right now, as you guys just saw that my Unity editor got hanged because here I have written while through and then to do this. So what happened is that this thing will always be true and this thing will get executed always so it will never will never become false and it will keep executing again and again and again and that is why the editor became hanged editor got hanged so this kind of loops are called infinite loop uh, you are recommended to never try these things never do these kind of things okay so I just did this thing to let you guys know that whenever you create a loop make sure that you give a condition which becomes false after some time so it becomes true it says it stays true for some time and after that it becomes false so never give a condition that will be true for unlimited amount of time or for infinite amount of time because that will make an infinite loop and eventually it will end up uh, making your editor like this and restarting it again and again but it will never work okay so you have to give a condition that will ultimately become false after some time okay so then what I did is I have created an integer variable here uh, I and I have given a value 1 to it and inside this I'm checking while i is less than 6 that means when 
i is less than 6, I want to print, instead of running, I want to print the value of i. So I want to write the value of i, and here we want to write plus i. So that will concatenate into it into a string. So inside this, we have a string that means uh, uh, a bunch of characters together, and then I have an integer, and this plus will make this integer will convert this integer into a string and this whole value will get printed in our console okay so next as you can see here i am giving i a value 1 and then i'm checking if the value of i is less than 6 but again the value of i will never be greater than 6 since the value of i is not getting incremented so here i have to increment the value of i one by one by one so an easy way to do this is to write i plus plus. i plus plus will increment the value of i one by one by one. So when this loop starts, the value of i is one. Then again, the value of i increments and it becomes two, then becomes three, then becomes four, then becomes five, then becomes six. And when the value becomes six, then it checks is six less than six. Then six is not less than six. So that is why it gets out of this while loop. And here let me write debug dog out of while loop. Okay? So you guys will see that until the condition is true, it will print the value of i and increment the value of i and then when it becomes this condition becomes false, the control comes out of the while loop and then it prints out of while loop. So let's save it and Let's go and run it right now. First of all, let me create and let me actually add this script to the camera. Okay. And now if I run it right now, as you can see here, if I take the console, first of all, when we started the value of i was one, so it says the value of i one, then the value of i two, then three, then four, then five, and when the value of i became six. This condition is no more true since 6 is not less than 6. So that is why it just the loop it just came out of this while loop and then out of this while loop we have this thing. So it executed this statement and it said out of while loop. So here as you can see at the last line it says out of while loop. So this is how a while loop works. So I hope you guys uh, got your concepts clear about the while loop. So thank you very very much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed and loved this tutorial, please make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.